Hey guys, today we are going to talk about a Magic the Gathering lottery. An actual lottery. Not a masterpiece lottery. An actual lottery by Picatrade. They call this the sweepstakes roundup. So every so often, it looks like every month, they will buy. So we pay, they will buy this for 18,000 points. And they're going to buy a Doran, the Seeds Tower Foil Judge promo for about $188, assuming, according to Eric, that 100 points is equal to a dollar. And then they sweepstake it away for 90,000 points or $906. Seems pretty good. You buy something for $188, although that's way overpaid, and then you sell it for $906. Seems really, really good. Caracas Legends Edition, we buy it for $177, then we sell it for, my gosh, we sold it for a thousand bucks. So this is a lottery system, but in a regular lottery system run by the government, at least in the US, half the money goes to the government and then half the money goes to the payout, just about. And the Pico Trade lottery system, we, my gosh, the multiplier is huge. So at the end of the day, this is the most profitable model I've ever seen for Magic the Gathering. You buy a card for a price. Let's say you buy a card for $18, then you sell it for $90, and you sell it by lottering it off. Now we have Grove of the Burn Willows and Force of Will from Eternal Masters. Somehow this is worth $247. And we sold it for $873. Pretty good. I mean, when's the last time anyone sold a Force of Will for $873? Now, many of you will say, oh, inflation, inflation, inflation. But according to Eric, $1 is equal to 100 Pico points. And according to the Pico website, that is also true. So at the end of the day, they were able to... I mean, they spent eight hundred and thirty-five, thirty-seven dollars and then they made, wow, these numbers are like so unreal. They made almost $4,000. So pretty good. They were able to burn a lot of quote points. This is an actual lottery system where you use your points to enter the sweep stake and then you randomly try to win the card. But they buy the card for a lot less than the points. So let's say the Grove of the Burn Willows, they got that for 22,000 points. They were able to sell it for 94,000 points because it's a lottery. And who doesn't like a lottery system? But the multiplier is bigger than any lottery I've ever seen. To go from 22 to 94, I mean, that is, what's that, a multiplier of four? So that would be like the government keeping every, wow. That's actually pretty bad. So that would be like the government keeping 80%, eight, 75 to 80% of all fees. Instead of paying it out, they would just keep it for the government. I'm pretty sure the lottery in the US works on a 50-50 basis. So 50% go back in the pot, and then 50% goes to the government to use for retirement, uh, communities, and all that type of stuff. All that good stuff. So let's take a look at Calvin of Souls from modern masters free we purchased it for a hundred and forty five dollars my gosh why, why do we purchase for is this cabin okay so the prices are a little messed up because if you divide that by a hundred you get a hundred and forty five dollars there's no way a cabin sold is a hundred and forty five dollars but anyway we were able to win a hundred a thousand and a hundred and seventy six dollars Look at the margins in that. That's almost a 10 to one margin. So it's like we had a card that's worth a dollar and then we put it in this raffle system and then we generated $10. My goodness, imagine if we could do that for every card we owned. So MTG Line is also going to invest in this raffle system where you can buy MTG Line points using real money and then you can enter a raffle at 10 to one odds or, hmm, I guess it would be 10 to one, eh, I don't know. Hostage Taker is apparently a place that is worth 208. I mean, okay, so if 100 Pico points is worth a dollar, these prices are outrageous. They're just insane, right? I mean, are we saying a playset of Hostage Takers is equal to 
But I mean, it must be we raised, we fundraised a thousand dollars, almost fifteen hundred. So at the end of the day, we are just burning money like crazy in this raffle system. This is like a per I don't know who's entering these raffles, but it seems kind of dumb, right? Because if the quote card value of force of the Scarab God is two hundred and nine dollars. Oh my gosh, Scarab God is two hundred nine dollars on Pico Trade. Oh gosh, I'm gonna cry right now. I'm gonna puke. How the how the blank is Scarab God, who's like a forty dollar card, two hundred and nine. Remember, 100 Pugo points, according to Eric, the CEO of this company, is equal to $1. Therefore, a Scarab God is worth 2,000, let's just call it 21,000, divided by 100, which would make it $210. But the good news is we sold it for $1,381. Oh my gosh, these numbers are so sick. Uh, is this a Ponzi scheme everyone's joining? Like, is this what Pico Trade is all about? Like, hey, you know what? We're going to um, we're going to buy cards for inflated prices, like ridiculously infl inflated prices. We're going to put them in a sweepstake, and then everyone's going to donate money, and we're going to have ten to one odds on it, or we're going to have ten to one. Imagine if my Falia, I put it on a sweepstake, and I had a play set of Falia is worth quote eighty dollars, which is a lot anyway. And then suddenly the sweepstake made me $800. Why wouldn't more people do this? Oh, maybe because it's illegal. Depends on the state, right? Because if you're running a lottery, hmm, you have to be very careful how, you know, different countries, different um, states even, they classify lotteries as different. Here we have a lottery that's been running for some time and has been generating a lot of money for, well, I guess not money, Pico points for the puker trade system and that's very very bad i'm not gonna lie and say that this is fantastic and kind of funny because it's sad somebody's somebody's giving these points to them like my god it's like a leovo foil is worth 710 dollars on puker points 710 dollars that's what you would have to pay puker trade to buy this leovo now we were able to raffle it off for $1,868. Like, you can't make this stuff up. I mean, this is a foil levo. I mean, is a foil levo really worth almost $2,000 in raffle money? Like, I get it if we're going to donate this to, like, a charity or to a fundraising of some type. But I don't get it if we're just going to give it back to Eric. Because that's where all these points are going back to. Eric. So he can buy more stuff. I'm sure Eric would like to move away from his regular apartment and buy a really nice office like he had before. But to do that, he needs to generate more cash. Anyway, my point is this is an actual lottery from Magic the Gathering. This is the worst lottery system I have ever seen. The payout is minimal. It is so bad. And they're so excited. We destroyed 450 points. So we tricked users into, so that's $4,500, dollars We tricked users into donating $4,500 for the chance of winning one of these cards that is just outrageously priced to begin with. Is that what we're proud of? Is every month we hold these contests and these lotteries and these quote sweepstakes? And what happens is we burn lots of points because people who don't know better or donating their points to in the hopes that they win something i mean come on now i mean come on so we paid a hundred and oh geez a thousand fourteen hundred dollars but we sold it for six thousand and three hundred dollars and we made a net of five hundred and five thousand five hundred and thirty four dollars this, is this making sense to anyone? Like, how is this real life? First of all, why is the prices of these things so insanely high? Is What's the value of a Pico point now? Is it 400 to 1? I've heard that 400 Pico points is equal to $1 now. But on the Pico Trade website, according to Eric, the CEO of Pico Trade, Pico points are always worth 100 Pico points for a dollar. Therefore, the prices on this stuff is insane, and I would feel a lot of pity for someone who gives Eric cash. Because, my gosh, they don't know what's going on. 
Anyway, you know it's pretty bad when you have to enroll in this really... I mean, when the government needs money, they do a lottery and they get to keep 50% of it. When PicoTrade needs money, they get to keep 90-95% to of it. <laughs> On the overinflated prices. So, um... It, oh, gross. Anyway, bye.